Warlord Resin is a new process that delivers highly detailed, lightweight miniatures that have more durability than metal, resin, or hard plastic models. In addition, it doesn't have the same limitations as processes like injection toward hard plastic, where undercuts can leave bare patches with little detail on the sides of models. Warlord Resin can handle that, and what you'll find is that the detail is on a par, if not better, than metal figures. Uh, being a lightweight material means that carrying armies of Warlord Resin miniatures around isn't a back-breaking prospect, which is great for, for those of us of a certain vintage. Warlord Resin is not the same bendy plastic that we all know from our childhood playing with Airfix toy soldiers. Although there is a great deal of flex, uh, there are many benefits to this um, the material, and I'll try and explain a few now. Fragile areas of miniatures like bayonets, sword tips, spears, not only won't break and snap off in, during gameplay, but the material has a great memory and it will reform back to its original state if bent. Here we have some Warlord Resin Spears from our SPQR Celt Cavalry. As you can see, they can be given quite a lot of abuse. Without snapping as a hard plastic spear would, nor bending and potentially breaking through the stress points of a metal spear. We have all played games with miniatures of spearmen or cavalry where the lancers have bent, and it takes away from the majesty of the game. But as you can see here, they keep fantastic memory. Another great feature of Warlord Resin is that once painted, the paint will not flake or crack, even if you bend the model in two. One of the great features of Warlord Resin is that you do not need to undercoat the miniatures unless you really want to. This model has no undercoat. This model has a brown undercoat purely as a base coat. It really doesn't affect the overall look. It doesn't matter how much abuse you will give them, paint will not chip off. If you did this to a metal miniature, no matter how heavily varnished, paint will want to chip off raised areas. As you can see, they take quite a lot of abuse. If you did this to a metal or resin or plastic figure, the barrel would likely snap off. Being a new material, and one that we're not accustomed, uh, we need to look at it and handle it in a different way than we would do with more familiar metal, resin and hard plastic materials. Where excess material is often removed using files on metal figures, with wall or resin models, a sharp craft knife would do the trick. Um, the emphasis there is on the sharp. A dulled or blunted blade won't work as well. You can use files, but you have to have a light touch. A lot of pressure will leave a, a burr um, and a texture on the edge of the models. Most war gamers won't care about that, but to be safe, use a sharp craft knife. Another great advantage to Warlord Resin, it's an absolute joy to convert with. You don't have to worry about sawing or breaking your clippers as you're cutting an arm or a head off. Very, very easy to work with. Our entire Judge Dread and SPQR range are made using Warlord Resin. And moving forwards, our forthcoming Victory at Sea game will also be using Warlord Resin. We'd expect to be moving a lot of our existing products over to this new material with all the benefits that it has. Hi, my name's Max and today I'm going to be taking you through how to work with Warlord Resin, clean it up and get it ready for painting. So first off we're going to be taking a look at how to remove flash. Flash is just a normal part of uh, the modelling process. When the resin is injected into the mould, it needs somewhere for excess resin to escape to make sure that the mould doesn't explode and the models are all cast properly under high pressure. To remove these, simply get your sharp knife, make sure you're careful with these, apply it to the side, don't use too much pressure and simply cut them off. Applying too much pressure and you risk breaking the blade, but as long as you do this carefully there is no risk imposed. Do this over the course of the whole model and you'll end up with a nice finished model. Another part of the modelling process in the production of them is mould lines. This is where the two moulds meet together and cause a little line where the uh, material seeps through. To 
to get rid of these is pretty simple. All you need to do is for light mold lines, you face your blade 45 degrees away from the model and back scrape. Some models, like this one, we've chose this one partic has a particularly bad mold line. Uh, you just want to go forward and very gently and carefully cut away from the model like that. So just get little files off and just keep going until the surface is smooth and evened out. And then just finally back scrape it a little bit just to get it back to normality. And then there, good to go. Ready to paint after being sprayed. So for wall or resin models, you're going to want to use a type of super glue, which you can buy at our web store, um, to put these together. So this can be used to put any type of material together, from wall or resin to wall or resin, or in this example, we're going to use this metal component to attach it to the wall or resin. So this stuff is very, very sticky, so make sure you don't get it on your hands. All you'll want to do is just put a tiny dab, you really don't need very much of this, on the miniature in question, like so. And then find where you want it to go. So in this case, I'm putting it in right on the front of the battleship. Like that. This will take a couple minutes to dry. We do sell super glue activated, but for most jobs, just putting it on normally will go. If it's a big part, you might want to hold it into position because gravity might be fighting against you. With this one, gravity is working with us. So as you can see, it's in there now. Like that. Normally, you'll want at least five minutes for it to set. Before painting, I'd normally recommend at least an hour, however, just to make sure any residual paint or glue has been worked through. We now have a range of products in Warlord Resin, which can all be ordered through our web store at www.warlordgames.com.